Several demos use an API interface to start a demo, so here is a simple, easy and fast way to create an open API in the Ace Toolkit. Then I'll deploy it on-premise on my Windows runtime, as well as Cloudback for integration running on OpenShift. I'm going to start by creating a, a new REST API. Open API with ACE. Hit the finish button. And uh, in ACE v12, there's now a new Open API editor. I'm going to show you under resources and operations, nothing is specified. I'm going to click on Edit API document in Open API editor. Maximize the screen. And uh, you will see that this uh, servers have been defined for me automatically. So I'm going to add a path. Let me just create a path called Calculate. Create. I'm going to define a new operation. Post, create that in my um, uh, request body. I need to specify what kind of uh, content I'm going to send in. I'm just going to send in uh, JSON. So under current type, uh, pick application JSON. And I'm going to also create uh, a response, add just a default response, convert, and create it. And to assist with um, creating quick data for testing, I'm just going to go back to my uh, request body and I'm going to add in some sample data. This is the minimum I need from the uh, Open API interface. I just need to save it and close the editor. And you'll see I've got a post operation here now. I can say create a subflow for me. And um, typically in my uh, demos, I accept two integers coming in and then uh, I just add the two numbers together, display the answer. It's, it's, it's a very simple demo. So I'm going to click on uh, transformation. I'm going to add a compute node in the middle. You see the interface for uh, V12 looks slightly different than uh, the previous versions, but it works still the same. If I double click on compute, I'm going to remove some of the clutter I don't need and I'm really just going to put a, a simple calculation in here. So I'm going to say set and I'm just going to add that to answer, save that, kill this save here and that is my very basic application from here now if i do demos that's gonna just take this input i can just very easily extend this um, this message flow so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab this project and deploy it on premise just to make sure everything is working it says the task is completed successfully close i can go in here look at my open API, you'll see there's my REST API base URL sitting here. I can copy it. I'm going to use um, just Postman to post information in here. So I've copied that first bit as well. Take it out, HTTP, 
and I know I've created a uh, calculate. And uh, the data I'm going to send in uh, is a number one and uh, a number two in there, values five and four. Um, I can send, and you'll see and get an answer back of nine. So on premise, it works really well. I do have uh, an implementation of um, OpenShift running uh, on a cloud in, uh, in my instance. It's running in, in Sydney. Um, let me open it up. I go to automation. And you can see from an integrations point of view, I've got a dashboard called Ace One Non Production. Um, I'm going to try and uh, deploy it there. Uh, I've got a few integrations running. I'm going to create a new server. Uh, Quick Start Toolkit integration should be good enough. Next, um, I need this bar file to come in so I can uh, drag and drop my bar file. If I need to find out where my uh, bar file is deployed to, I'll go to my uh, independent resources. It says generated bar files. I can uh, look at the properties here, and the path will, will sit in here uh, exactly where, where it is. So I can go back and I need to pick the correct workspace. This was uh, Ace and Open API. There's a generated bar files in there, and there's that Open API with Ace uh, project bar files sitting there. Open it. Say next. I don't need any configuration servers for this simple setup. Um, just need to uh, give it a name. So, um, open API from Ace. I can uh, get the latest version that's available and I can hit create. This will take a, a few minutes uh, to go in. So, and you'll see here's the pending one, the one I've just created. Um, I usually go in and I have a look at my uh, OpenShift environment to see how far is the deployment going. I need to log in uh, to my OpenShift. In OpenShift, you can go to uh, Workloads, Pods, and if I sort it, you can see that a minute ago it's busy creating this open API for my environment for me. I need to wait until it uh, shows ready, one of one. Um, I can have a look at the uh, logs in the meantime. If I click here, I can have a look at the logs. And you can see it is busy deploying. After a while, you will see that the, uh, the integration server uh, is ready. We can uh, go back to my dashboard. This dashboard doesn't refresh automatically, so uh, the easiest way is to just need a refresh. And uh, now you'll see what my open API for my is, is ready to use. To test this, just click on the tile. You'll see it's an API. 
click on the tile and uh, you'll see here is my post uh, calculate uh, ready to use interesting is I can also download my open API document so if you want to see that I can open it with my notepad there's my uh, open API and uh, I can click on post calculate you'll find a try it button here click on try it um, and you need to put paste that same data in here that I've used uh, in my postman I'm just gonna grab it copy it paste it in here send and you'll see I'll get an answer of 9 back just to make 100% sure there's no cheating taking place I can replace that with a 6 send and you see my answer is 11 and that's uh, how to get a basic open API uh, running on cloud pack for integration and on premise developed in the ACE toolkit thank you